What is going on everybody? Brendan here, Dad Planet, and listen, a big, big shout out to Dee Dee and Joyce, who I saw this morning at the bins here in good old Columbus, Ohio. It was really, really nice speaking to you. Thank you so much for coming up and saying hello. I'm still getting used to being YouTube famous. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm headed into Goodwill right now. I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna do a little bit of a thrift run right here. I'm looking for shoes first and then anything else that looks good second. So you never know, could be some electronics, could be toys, whatever, but shoes specifically, I'm trying to bump up my shoe game. So I'm gonna take you in store, we're gonna find some bolos, and then after that, I want you to stay tuned because I'm gonna drop a requested item into the mystery box. That is amazing, and it's gonna be really hard for me to give up, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get in store and see what I can find. All right, some of this footage is from yesterday, so you can see the weather difference. It was gorgeous. Not so much today, a little bit overcast, but we're headed in. The first thing I find in this store is a lava lamp. That's like the holy grail of lava lamps. I'll put the comps up on the screen. Rocket, I mean, I, and I keep finding these lately, so this is definitely going into my car. Home run right off the bat, and yes, I have a pair of dance goes in there. I'm killing it with nurse clogs, so those just need to be cleaned up. Navy, suede, they were in good condition. Boom, I like what I see so far. Next is a pair of Converse. I couldn't find any comps on these, but I like the way they looked, uh, and I felt like they just needed to be cleaned up a little bit, so throw those in the wash, get those listed, I, you know, maybe $25. Like, I'm satisfied with that, but so far we're doing great with shoes. Like, I can't complain at all. Now, checking out a uh, different location here, and they've got a pair of, these are Doc Martin 1480s, and they're in decent condition. Doc Martin seem to sell really well. These are hard to find in the US. So I got a pair of 1480s here, and there are definitely comps on those. The insoles look great, so yeah, these, these are going into the cart as well. I'm thinking maybe 70 bucks for them. We'll see what happens once we, uh, once we get them moving. Now this is a good lesson right here. You see this lovely lady putting these shoes away? She's putting away a pair, uh, actually three pairs of Newton Gravity 5 shoes. When I target buyers, this is the type of buyer I'm looking for. Like this is who I want. Somebody that is like a rabid fan of a certain style of shoe. So there are three pairs, the exact same color and the exact same size. That's exactly who I want to sell to. So when you guys hear me talk about targeting a specific buyer, this fits that formula really, really well. Somebody that has to have this pair, this size, this color all the time. So at $4 and what, 49 cents, $4.50, the comparables are okay, but I've sold Newtons before and I've sold Newton Gravities before. So I'm gonna take at least one pair, like the pair that's in the best condition, and throw them in the cart and be done with it. The other two, you know, I'm gonna take like a, a glance at them, but they, they just, uh, they weren't in great condition. And we kind of finish it off here with good old Yoshi. Now this is a jumbo plush Super Mario, I think from 2019. The tag looked a little worn, but he is in awesome condition. No rips or tears, 20 inches, 20, 22 inches. Boom, let's put him in the cart and get moving. I took a look at this, uh, I don't know, this thing is kind of like scary looking, this cat hat, it's da it's dandy like cat mask. I looked it up, the, the comps weren't that great. Maybe 15, maybe $20 for what they were asking for it. I was like, you know what, forget about it. So we'll check out toys here. This little bluey barbecue was really cute, but there were 46, I think, listed and only nine, six or nine sold. I'm not into that. I'm gonna pass on that. Same with this Ultra Dash, like brand new in the box, but, and the comps were better on this one, but just not, not, not enough for me to, uh, to really, to really make a, make an informed decision and make a purchase. So that Batcave piqued my interest. Uh, it's kind of big and I'm not afraid of big items, but I took a look at the comps too and you know, people offering free shipping on that, I'm gonna pass on that. And then that, of course this Super Soaker here, Laramie is a good brand to look for, but that had no value in it either. So it looked like it was in great condition, but nah, I'm not interested, I'm gonna pass on all of that stuff too. 
This happens to me all the time where like I find something misplaced. Unfortunately, these were not in a condition that excited me. I think they were Nike Pegasus 33 or 35. So they were coming apart right there at the toes. Not interested in that one. This one, however, for $4.99, this Mega Blocks Merlin's Dragon. This bad boy is a home run. That is coming home with me for sure. So a very quick jaunt to the store, but boom, big time hits. All right, I am home and this is a bin find. I'm kind of excited about it. I don't really know what I'm gonna ask for it, but this is Lord, the recording artist. Melodrama is the name of this shirt from, I think, what, I don't, maybe it'll say it on the back. 2014 was what I thought I saw on the back of the shirt. The Melodrama World Tour. It's got, let's see, what are these? The dates on the side, so it's marked on both sides of the shirt. And then here she is singing on the back. So it's Melodrama here, and then it says EYO Limited 2014. What an exciting find. I don't know, what, what would you guys price this at? There's no comparables, but it looks like her stuff sells pretty high, so maybe $80 to $100. Uh, I don't really know, but this was a sweet find today, so I'm, I'm excited to get it listed. I, it's kind of like, I don't know, nasty outside right now. I usually take pictures on my deck right here, and I don't want to take pictures inside because it's just too dark in the house, even with lights. So I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. We're calling for sun here, but... Yeah, a Lord concert teacher from 2014. I don't know. Pretty excited about that. Let's take a little peek in here. What was that? That's right. Somebody asked for Pokemon, and I am going to deliver Pokemon into the Not So Mystery mystery box. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an Elite Trainer box, Shining Fates. It is factory sealed. These on the market right now are going for about, what, 80 bucks, I think? So let's do a little bit of math here. And that's not the only thing I'm gonna drop in before this video is over. Yeah, $80 for the Elite Trainer Box. This is Cadence, Build-A-Bear. She's selling at about 40 bucks right now. And then a lot of serious equipment, let's call that 80 altogether. If you part everything out, we are at what, $200? Not only that, I'm gonna include some additional Pokemon packs. These right here, we got one, two, three, four, five. Let's just dump them all in there. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna put all of these in there as well. And boom, there we go. Those packs in between five and $10 each. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, another $50. This thing isn't even a quarter of the way full, guys and gals. And it's already at $250 in resale value. This is gonna go way over $1,000, I think. I'm super, super excited. And again, I, it's just a way for me to say thank you for being a subscriber. But look look at what we've got right now. I cannot wait to ship this out to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And again, if you want that box, you gotta make sure you're subscribed. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And then leave me a like if you liked what you saw. And that is all I have for you today. Thanks again. Brendan here, Dead Planet, signing off, and we will see you in the next video.